I'm Corey Reisinger, and this is the New York Journal 360. December 4th of 1890, and today, New York World journalist Nellie Bly returned home from her world travels, during which she broke the record set by Jules Verne's fictional character in his novel Around the World in 80 Days. Bly reportedly proposed the publicity stunt to her editor at the World, who countered, saying they should send a man instead. Bly had this to reply. Very well. Start the man, and I'll start the same day for some other newspaper and be for many other women, was simply a solemn promise from Bly, already famous for her daring exposés, which revealed the corruption of the Mexican government and the inhumane treatment of women in insane asylums. Bly reached international fame when she broke Jules Verne's record, traveling the world in 72 days, 6 hours, and 11 minutes, by ship, train, and balloon. Bly's career in journalism began when she was only 18, after she wrote a tenacious letter to the editor in response to Aramis Wilson's article in the Pittsburgh Dispatch, What Girls Are Good For, in which he described the woman's role as being only in the household and described all working women as, quote, monstrosities. After working for the Dispatch, Bly quickly found herself saddled with articles only about fashion and weddings, and she left for the New York world, leaving only a note saying, Dear QO, I'm off for New York. Look out for me, Bly. Bly was also the only reporter to cover the Pullman's railroad strike from the perspective of the strikers, and she's famous for her novel Six Months in Mexico in 1888, where she exposed the corruption of the government in Mexico and its effect on the country's poverty, which ultimately had her expelled from the country. Then, when Bly asked her editor, in an insane asylum project, how will you get me out, the editor offered no definite response. Bly made fame once again with her novel Ten Days in a Madhouse. So today, we celebrate Molly Bly, not the first female journalist, but certainly one to remember.